Hello, it's Chelsea Jerusalem with the Jerusalem's Happy Home Team, and I'm just popping in with a quick little live video. Um, I decided that it was probably a good idea to go because people ask this question all the time and wonder what, how do I get to the point? So the question is, what is home equity and like, how do I get that? Um, it seems like something that people want. Um, so home equity is definitely something that people are interested in. And if you're with a quick little update on what's going on in our market right now in King County, we have over 40% less inventory than we had this same time last year. So people have been clamoring over trying to get their foot in the door, trying to get that home ownership um, taken care of. So we've definitely have a crazy supply and demand thing going on right now. So um, if you know anybody who's trying to buy a home, they're definitely in the mix with a lot of other people that are trying to get that done, um, as well as if you know anybody who's trying to sell their home, let me know because I probably know somebody who wants to buy it. <laughs> um, but on the topic of home equity, um, basically equity is what the difference is between what the debt is on your property and what your property is worth. So when you own a home, um, usually you put down a, home, a down payment or you should unless you have a VA loan, you can do zero down. Um, but most loans will require a down payment um, and that down payment is your initial equity position. So that's the difference between how much you owe the bank and how much you could sell your house for in today's market. So that's kind of your basis point for equity. So in the beginning, if you put 20% down, then you would be saying I have a 20% equity position. Um, a lot of people want to have that 20% down position because that does give you some advantages in mortgage insurance and blah, blah. Um, we can go into those details later, but putting that saving up that 20% to get to the point of owning a home can be the detriment that prevents somebody from ever getting an equity position. Because really what I would say is the best way to get equity is to start now um, and not wait. Uh, the sooner you get your foot in the door, the better you are in getting that position uh, in general, just because especially right now we're seeing inventory with um, appreciation happening in our area. The median home price is gaining about $5,000 a month or more per month. So it's like, how are you gonna save up enough money to get that 20% down to buy that home? So really just once you get your foot in the door and get that home under your belt, that's when you start to gain that equity position instead of being trying to struggle to get your foot in the door. So I say as soon as you can qualify and get, get there, as long as it obviously don't overstretch yourself and don't put yourself in a position that doesn't make sense. But I think waiting is usually not the best thing. If you're ready to do it, just let's just go and get it done. And start with you know, the starter home is totally acceptable. Most people would never ever get to the position of being able to buy that second home if they didn't start with that first home. So you're really just getting that starter home home is is huge it could be a little tiny condo that's what I did I bought a 588 square foot condo um, which I still own um, but that's and then I pivoted that into being a rental property which is a whole nother topic of what we do with the equity once we have the home equity all the fun things we get to do with it because that's the better part once we have the equity we can have all kinds of advantages that come along with it but getting to that point is 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 step one most wealthy people will amass wealth through uh, real, in real estate. So a lot of people, when they talk about their net worth, a big portion of the net worth would be that equity that they have. And that's not necessarily cash in their pocket. Um, and they're not going to sell their houses, but they get to count that as like, this is part of my portfolio. This is my net worth. Um, so if you want to have like Bill Gates net worth, you definitely need to get some real estate money um, and get your foot in the door that way. So that's just kind of an idea of what home equity is and how you get it is by owning a home. So step one is home ownership. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a series on this. So um, I'm going to talk about why do I want equity next because I don't want to bore you right now um, but why do you want home equity and then how do you maintain it and make it grow so we'll talk about why you want it on the next time around um, but if you already know that you want it you can get a hold of me and I can help you get it or um, we can get you connected with some other people that can help you leverage what you already have to help you get more. So um, if you ever have any questions or there's topics that you want me to do in a video, let me know because I'm looking to do things that people are interested in hearing. I hope you all are having a great Wednesday. Um, call, text or email us and you can always drop private message. Happy home team. Oops. Happy home team .com.